yet another meta product, right? But hey, let's not be like that. It's a good thing for three things. It's good for making chatbots, it's good for content generation, and it's good for writing. So today we're gonna see how to utilize Llama and where to find some work if you wanna give yourself, you know, an opportunity to have a side hustle or whatever. But I gotta warn you though, this is not a get rich quick scheme and forget about what people are telling you that you can get millions of dollars overnight and go on and live in Dubai, whatever. This is not gonna work like that. This will depend on you and your patience and your dedication and effort, just like anything, right? And now I'm not gonna sell you a course at the end of this video, forget about it. Let's just see what can be done with this. So you can just Google for it. It is Llama and the internet is on fire because there's a new model and you know every day there's a new model for something and what do you want to do well you can download it or you can just try llama on meta ai and essentially it's just the same thing as chat gpt as deep seek whatever you will have to log in with your instagram account this time or your meta ai account and it's not available on, you know, it's not available for every country in the world yet. I know it sucks, but yeah, maybe there's a list somewhere, but you know, just test it out and see if it's gonna work for you or not. Now, you can't use VPN as well because you have to log in with Instagram, right? And when you log in with Instagram, it'll just connect and it'll know where you come from. And you know, there's just no other way around it. You just have to live in the US or maybe a few other countries, right? So that's about it. Now, there are a lot of benchmarks and it shows you that it is better than GPT 4.0, it's better, better than Claude, it's better. But usually benchmark, well, all the benchmarks, they usually lie right so you can get used to it the only way in which you can test this is to play with the tool to you know just take it for a walk just use it and you know just put the use case that you intend to use it and you're gonna see if it's better or not but this one is open source right maybe it's i don't know maybe it's not fully open source i doubt that meta would do something like that i mean open ai is never gonna do that but people are using it and you know a lot of people I heard that are satisfied, a lot of people are using it just, just like any other tool. The people are looking what can help them the most. So what do we do with Llama? What can we do with it? Well, I always say that, but you gotta start somewhere. If you're gonna make chatbots with Llama, and it's a simple thing to do, you have to upload your PDF file or you just have to put a website there and that will serve as a knowledge base. And later on, when you talk to the chatbot, it's gonna use that knowledge base that you've uploaded or the website that you've used, and it's gonna answer the questions that you ask or the customers, the clients that are gonna use that chatbot, they're gonna ask questions and they will get a response from that knowledge base. And it's not a hard thing to do. I'll show you one more website where you can do that. But the thing is, this is in demand, right? Even your, I don't know, local flower shop, they need a chatbot. You know, everybody needs a chatbot today. And that's why this is in such a demand that it's crazy. It's overpriced, right? Just on Fiverr, you can see that some of these cost like $750 for, you know, a simple chatbot, right? But of course, there are people like this person here who can make a little chatbot. This is gonna be just like one or two messages set up for $30. And yeah, it depends on where you live. You can just make the pricing work for you, right? But the fact is that this is in demand. There's like a lot of people doing it and it's never gonna be enough supply, right? We're just starting out and local businesses are just finding about this. You know, it's happening as we speak. So my suggestion is that you make yourself a Fiverr gig, you just put yourself on Upwork, but then again, work locally, right? Just go throughout your neighborhood, right? And just see the businesses and just approach people, just reach out and ask them, whether they need a chatbot. Of course, you're gonna get ready. You're gonna explain to them, to ones that don't know yet, 
why chatbot is good for them. Usually it'll save money and it'll save time because you know, if their clients want to ask something, they have to get another person to go off from whatever they've been doing and they have to just go to that client and they have to just stand there and they have to answer questions, right? But with chatbots, they can eliminate that, essentially just saving time from the worker and of course, just saving money. So they don't have to hire another person to do the work that has been left. Now it is gonna be like a sales pitch always and you are gonna get a lot of no's. A lot of people will just say, get out of here, I don't wanna look at you. But you know, a lot of people will take the opportunity and you know, one of the most, well, well, mostly educated people will take the opportunity to, you know, improve something in their business. And that's where you come in. And the beauty of this is that whenever you make a chatbot for someone for a flower shop, let's say, whenever they add a new flower, let's say, they will just ask you, they will contact you again to fix that, to just add another flower in the option, right? And it's just giving you the opportunity to upscale and always like, you know, upsell your service to the same client. And that's why it's good. Second option is content creation. Think blog posts. Blog posts are in such a demand today because it's not only blogs. People search on Fiverr for blog posts because they want articles. They want something, some kind of a text form, which is gonna help them to sell certain products. That's, you know, that's all about it. it it's all about the money. It's all revolving about dollars, right? And this will never go out of style. So what you can do is you can use Llama in order to give you outlines, in order to help you with SEO, and in order to give you, you know, just help in writing. But I don't recommend you just copying and pasting the text that language model gives you because a lot of people know it. There's a lot of detectors online and it's not it's just not going to work. I mean, there are some people there doing it and it's going to be good for them like one or two times, maybe even 10 times, but it's not for the long term, right? It, it's just not sustainable anymore. People know. People can see if it's AI written or not. You have to add something of your own. In fact, everything has to be your own. But if you're stuck, if you don't have an outline, if you are you know, if you're just stuck with grammar or structure of your blogs, articles, whatever, that's where language models can come in and help you. And of course, they can give you opinions. For example, when I'm writing YouTube scripts, for example, I just put an entire script there and I just ask it for opinion. And of course, it's just gonna give me, you know, some kind of feedback where I can improve. And then of course, I'll just go and improve those things and then just go and ask for opinion one more time. So it's still you, it's gonna depend on you, your ideas, your writing, but with the help, and of course, research. Research is some, that's the best use case for Llama and for any other tool which uses AI. Research, right? Research is, you know, I use these language models nowadays because they have the search option. I use them as a search engine, right? I use them to do the research on the topic way faster than I ever could before, right? I mean, that's obvious. It's just fast, it's thorough, and it gives you a lot of information in detail, especially if, if it can use the search option, if it can go to, you know, the internet. Perplexity is a very good thing for that. And yeah, I almost forgot. I promised you to give you one more tool which makes these chatbots a whole lot easier. It's called Chatbase, and you can Google for it, just Chatbase, it's over at chatbase.co. And what do you wanna do with this one? Well, it's so simple. You just put a knowledge base, as I was telling you earlier. You put a knowledge base, and then it's gonna study it, analyze, and it'll know everything, you know? And you can easily embed this on any website out there. And you can use a lot of this for free, so you don't have to pay for it. You know, until you get to a certain point where you will eventually have to pay it and it's gonna be $40 per month. But this is when you get enough clients in order to support this one. So yeah, don't, don't worry about it. So those are the use cases. Remember, it's all gonna depend on you, whichever one of these you take, but it's possible, right? So just sit there, think about it. What do you wanna do and go do it. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.